Hello, it's Harsh Romano here, as usual. Today I'm reviewing a niche brand fragrance by imaginary authors called Bull's Blood. I have to give a huge shout out to Natalie Patel. Hi, sweetie pie, how are you? Um, I watched your review this morning of this and you inspired me to grab my sample, wear it with abandon and uh, review it right now. I literally watched your video at, just as I woke up. I was just in bed flicking through the most up, uh, recent uploads of my subscribers and I saw yours and thought, oh God, I'm gonna watch that. And then recently I went to Rudier White. Um, the video is linked up here in the little eye dot in the corner. New feature on YouTube, by the way. Um, and I'm always, I never really know what to review next. So Natalie, you've inspired me to review it too. Let's make it a bull's blood week. So, imaginary authors, um, if you've seen my video when I went to Rude AY, they, I went there pretty much solely to buy some samples from them. I really like their ethos, I say that all the time. I like the name of the company, I like the fact that most of their fragrances have s some sort of accord that they name weirdly, like Bull's Blood in this one. They've got um, the Soft Lawn, which has got something they, which they call Tennis Ball in it. They've got the Cobra and Canary, which I can't remember what's in that one, but anyway, very interesting brand. I like the way it looks and everything. So I went and bought four samples um, of their fragrances and haven't really smelled any of them. So today was a full on Bull's Blood day. I just thought I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna see what it's all about. Natalie's review really piqued my interest. So this is it. Um, the nose behind the fragrance is Josh Meyer. He makes all of their fragrances. I'd like to meet him. He's obviously a very cool dude um, with a really strong vision and I really appreciate that. Uh, when I went to Rude White, they give you these little, they're like bookmarks. It actually says spray here on it, but um, it's kind of glossy, so I'm not sure how that works unless this is some supersonic special superpower perfume blotter. I don't know. Anyway, this fragrance um, is based on a man called Devonte Valero, who wrote a book called Bull's Blood and he's Spanish, quite clearly. He used to go to bullfights with his father and apparently he had a fight with someone and they ended up dying. Nice character, kind of like a gangster, I guess. It says it's got his death date, well, it's got 1925 to question mark, which means when did he die, we don't know. Uh, it's got a little, what do you call it, quote? A little quote from him saying, a man who has killed is a man who knows passion. That's murder talk if you, if you ask me, that's, that's a bit scary. Anyway, um, yes, here are the notes. It says it's got in it patchouli, rose, costas root, tobacco, black musk, and then this imaginary Accord. I didn't say imaginary just because of their name. It's an imaginary accord, Bull's Blood. Um, yeah, and it's got a rose on the picture. It's got a picture of the man's face. Quite a handsome chap, I must say. So, um, after watching Natalie's review, by the way, I'm gonna link her channel down here right now. Go and check her out if you haven't already. I've mentioned her a few times before. Her videos have a very calming effect. She's very softly spoken and um, she knows her stuff too. You're getting really good at describing fragrances and I, I love it. Well done, Natalie. So, yeah, I've been wearing this all day. I sprayed on eight sprays of it. Let me just go and shut the bird up for one second. The oven's been on for a while, so he's due, just about due to go in. One sec. Oh, cockatiels are quite bony. Don't ever try one. So, those are the notes. Um, yeah, I sprayed this on this morning when I left to go and see my friend at about 11 o'clock. Seven full-on sprays. I put one on the back of my hand so I could keep track of it. And um, yeah, it, it's quite unusual. What I'd say, that what it smells Sorry, like is a massive change of scenery there. Um, a mariachi band just entered my living room. Not true, the bird was getting on my nerves. So, what does this fragrance smell like? I've got a lot of things to say about this. I've had quite a few different feelings about it as the, the wear length has gone on, if that makes sense, you know. The more I've wore it through the day, I've just noticed different things about it. So I'm going to spray it wet onto this hand again. This is like a big old burst of stuff. I, oh, it's, it's, I'll firstly say it's verging, it's verging on being pleasant 
when it's wet but there's a few things that flip it over to this side where it's a little bit unpleasant but I'm talking about when you smell it here it's one of those perfumes that when it's when it permeates the air a little bit more it really does smell a lot better so the opening of this oh my god it's it's um let me just gather my words a few times I've sprayed this wet on my hand I've been wearing it on my neck fully wearing it but on my hand I've sprayed it over and over just to get a feel for it and the wet stages of it I've picked out in my head burnt latex there's a very weird plasticky rubbery fiery burntness that comes out of it um, patchouli really does run the show in this fragrance when it's uh, very wet to drying the dry stage is different the dry stage is my favorite part but we'll get onto that in a minute um, it's the patchouli really runs the show and the patchouli in this is really funky there's different types of patchouli sometimes they're peppery sometimes they're kind of earthy grassy um, and if you're a fan of Angel by Terry Mugler a lot of people say that the patchouli in that smells like BO and it's a little bit funky and weird and the patchouli in this is exactly that it's got a nice crisp rosiness to it but the patchouli it, it's very weighty it's not a very light fragrance at all if I had to give it a kind of a feeling it kind of feels dusky it's like dusky to smooth you know some fragrances can be completely smooth smelling or very well rounded or spiky or sharp this fragrance is very dusky in texture if you could put a smell into a texture that's what it's like it's got civet in it this bull's blood accord whatever it is that Josh Meyer has made it's got civet in it and that's what's giving it this animalic kind of tone underneath the core of it is this weird funky patchouli but there's a very weird animalic tone to it that's that makes sense because it's called bull's blood and it's that's the theme isn't it so I would say it veers more to the masculine side than the feminine if anything and this is going to sound weird too, but doing my perfume studies, I've had to do a lot of research into aromatic compounds and going much deeper into single notes. And one of the aromatic compounds that I had to learn about was terpenes. This smells like terpenes. Have you ever smelled turpentine before? When I was at school, I did marbling. You know when you drop the oil paints onto things and you put turpentine in? It smells like that. It's kind of like a slightly chemical but very sweet smelling note and that this has got abundance of that really cool it is cool it is quite different it's more of a sensual um, fragrance I would say than anything else really dusky the patchouli is really really far forward in this it's like a very animalic patchouli with rose just giving that little pretty edge that stops it from being completely unpleasant because civet as you know if you've smelled it before it smells very farmyardy and hay and barn like and uh, Natalie you actually touched on that as well by saying it was like the underneath of a horse's hoof which I think was an amazing thing to say but it does it does have that civet in there is giving it something very animalic so what I will say as well that I, I really noticed is on the off sniff, <laughs> if that's even a word, you know you ha you can huff something in very quickly, but when this when you the wisps of the smell are kind of fading out of your nose and brain and stuff, just on the off wisp, I can smell something that smells like cinnamon in this. It's a little bit fiery. Um, it's I would go so far as to say it's like cinnamon bark because it smells kind of like a very dry dusky cinnamon spice that's in this I get that quite a lot it's like those fireball sweets those are gobstopper things that smell like that fiery cinnamon this that's like an underlying note in this and it's it's kind of cool up close off-putting I must say it's not like I said it's just verging on being pleasant but in the air it's different it's a lot softer in the air it's a lot more well-rounded 
it's like a very sensual rose patchouli with just a bit more depth because of the animalic notes in it. And I really like that. Um, tobacco is a big factor as well. It's got that kind of slightly planty kind of feel. Um, but what I want to talk about most is, that's the main, main wear of it. I mean, I've, I've worn it all day and it does stay with me. It, I've smelt this. I got on the, the London Underground earlier on and I could still smell myself when the tube doors opened and you get a waft of yourself. It becomes really, really nice on dry down. I would buy it for the dry down alone, um, but I'm not willing to pay the money for it just yet. The dry down, I feel like there's sandalwood hidden in here somewhere. It becomes a lot more sensual and patchouli, while very deep and earthy and sometimes sexy, I don't think it's sensual. I think there's sandalwood in here. The dry down of this, I've had this, I had it on my hand earlier. The dry down of it is really good. It's sandalwood, while being very soft and powdery, sometimes throws up little sparks of something incense-y and I get that from this when it's very very dry very dry I'm talking about four or five hours after wearing it and that really impressed me I really liked it about the fragrance I've not got much more to say about it I just I've gone back and forth with it definitely I don't think it's that scary Civet is a scary note anyway but in this it seems like it's done in just the right amount and you have to be a patchouli lover to like this, and a funky patchouli lover, not a crisp, clean patchouli. A real kind of gritty, earthy, verging on B.O. kind of patchouli. So that's my review of Bull's Blood by Imaginary Authors. I've got a few other ones to do by them, and I'm really excited now because I've had my first little foray, <laughs> the word that I like to use, into their fragrances. So. Click up there to see, well you would have seen it, the Rude White Chip that I did because I went and smelled lots of their fragrances. Uh, and click my logo to subscribe. See you guys soon. Thank you very much. Bye bye.